breaking news the nigerian police have arrested a 21 year old woman glory okoli who only got out of the Suleja Correctional Center in Niger State last week after more than eight months of incarceration. Sahara reporters learned that Okwale was arrested by the Imo State Police Command acting through the Divisional Police Officer of Shell Police Station. It was said that, according to a source that reviewed, Okole was arrested when she went to a bank branch in Oweri to withdraw some of her money. The Nigerian Police Force, NPF, through the Imo State Police Command, through the DPO of Shell Police Station, we arrested Okole, who was only granted bail out of Soledja prison last week, the source said. When we reached the police, the police, you know, when we reach the police spokesperson on phone, pardon, to our Oweri bank to withdraw money after it was flagged down by the Inspector General of Police Intelligence Response Unit before our arrest and eventually bail. Sahara reporters learned that her lawyer, Samuel, Ian Sekin, and others were asked, you know, were still making frantic efforts, pardon, to ensure our release is secure at the time of filling this report. On March 23rd, Sahara reporters had reported that Okole perfected appeal conditions and got out of Sulija Correctional Center. Okole has been arrested and a slave since June 17, 2021 by the operatives of the IGP IRT in Imo State. Okole was illegally detained and held in a cell Inspector General of Police Intelligence Response Team Unit of the Nigerian Police Force for months on allegations of spying for the indigenous people of Biafra. Sahara reporters on November 23, 2021, reported that a federal high court sitting in Abuja granted bail to Gloria Okole in the sum of 150 million naira with two shorties. Ruling on the bail application, the preceding judge, Justice Tayo Tayo, admitted her to bail with shorties, one of whom must be at least a level 14 civil servant, while the other must own landed property and must have lived at the present address for at least two years. Okoli, who was accused of an offence bordering on terrorism, was arrested by the Nigerian police force for allegedly being friends with a suspected member of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. She was later transferred to Abuja despite efforts by family members to secure her release. While reacting to the bill conditions, her lawyer, Ian Sekin Samuel, commended the judge for admitting her to bill, though the terms were stringent. They would apply for variation in due course. Collier was later released on bill, and now we've just heard that she has been rearrested. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction to this main development? We all know the story of Glory Okolier, who was a friend to a suspected member of IPOB. And because of that, she was arrested for over eight months. And she was just released last week and has been rearrested again. According to the news, we can see that Nigeria is a very lawless Nigeria. 
the security operatives in Nigeria, the police, are very lawless. The lawless Nigerian police we arrested the enslaved 2021, you know, the enslaved 21-year-old woman, pardon, Gloria Kole, weeks after she was released from the Sulejia Correctional Center. What is your thought to this? We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this. The Nigerian police have arrested a 21-year-old woman, Gloria Kole, who only got out of the Sulejia Correctional Center in Niger State last week after more than eight months of incarceration. It is said that her arrest was illegal. Well, despite so many things, she was later released and now rearrested. Why do you think she was rearrested? We would like you to let us know your thoughts on this. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about the present situation. Paul Anantin reacted and said, I am not surprised because I knew a day like this will come where they will be busy jailing, killing, and arresting innocent people. But before they understand what they are doing, terrorists will have taken over their land. What is your thought to this? That is a reaction from Paul. Before they realize what they are doing, terrorists will have taken over their land. Elvis also reacted and said, Meanwhile, Bandits are having a field day ravaging the northern part of the country and the combined force of all our security apparatus seems to be clueless and helpless. The 1914 amalgamation of northern and southern protectorates in the greatest justice ever done to this country. What is your thought to this? We've just heard that. The 1914 amalgamation of the Northern and Southern Protectorate is the greatest injustice ever done in this country. What is your thought to this? Bandits are having few days in part of the Northern part, ravaging, committing all sorts of atrocities without any security operatives trying to stop them. While the security operatives are busy doing illegal arrest here and there. What is your thought to this? According to Paul, Elia said, I am not surprised because I knew a day like this will come. Ozibu, Ozibu said, This small girl has a governor, senator, House of Representative member, and local government chairman where she comes from. Both they are dead from the neck up. That is the tragedy. What is your thought to this? We all know that she was illegally arrested, whereas the state she comes from has a governor, has senator, have members of representatives, and they have local government chairman. None of these people could stand up to fight for her. It is said that these people are dead from the neck up. That is our reaction from Ozibu. We would like you to let us know your own thoughts on this, like to share your own reaction with us via the comment section. Don't forget that. Lawless Nigerian police were arrested and slave 21-year-old woman Gloria Kole weeks after her release from the Sudeja prison. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.